There is a building called Shangdian in the Zhengzhou Shrine, where Su Xun and his two sons, Su Xi and Su Jie, are enshrined. They are collectively known as the Three Su's and hailed as China's most prominent father son trio. The ancient Chinese literary creation reached its peak during the Tang and Song dynasties. Among the eight most acclaimed writers of that time, i.e., the eight great masters of Tang and Song, the three Su's occupied three seats. With Su Xi being the most prominent, known as the all round champion in the history of Chinese culture, he was even recognized by the French newspaper Le Monde as a millennial hero who influenced the course of the world around the year 1000 AD. As a result, the father and sons became the role model for Chinese families. Over the Xing Dance Gate, there hangs a plague that reads Shi Fu Shi Zi, which means like father, like son. A praise for Su family's continual inheritance of familial learning and virtues. Like other traditional Chinese families, the three Su's placed great value on such inheritance, which has also been woven into their daily lives. When Su Xi was young, he chanced upon a unique fish shaped stone with light green color, smooth and translucent surface, and silver particles embedded in it. He used it as an ink stone, which produced excellent ink. His father, Su Xun, encouraged him by saying, This is an auspicious sign of your rise to prominence in the literary world. Despite the stone's imperfect shape, Su Xun remarked, Virtue is more important than appearance teaching his son the importance of character in shaping one's life. Su Xi later had a son, Su Mai. When he sent off Su Mai, who was appointed an official in another county, he gifted him an ink stone inscribed with Stay hungry in seeking truth. Stay perseverant in making academic progress. Stay benevolent when holding an official post. And bear in mind the preciousness of life when drafting legal documents. Su Dongpo gave his second son, Su Dai, another inkstone. And said, A good inkstone is found in deep valleys and streams hard one and extremely valuable. He advised his son to use it, study diligently, and make the most of it. A single inkstone carries on Su family's tradition of educational and scholarly pursuits, as well as the conduct and ethical norms. It has faithfully recorded the Chinese family's farming studying tradition and the ideal of benefiting society through poetry and books. <laughs>